we've seen on the straight line graph there are three methods that you can draw the straight line graph this is one of them the dual intercept method this word dual means two and then intercept means where it cuts the x-axis and where it cuts the y-axis let's read number one it says the x-intercept is the point where the graph cuts the x-axis the x-axis is this line is the horizontal line is the input line is the x axis so where your graph cuts the x axis is called the x intercept how do we find the x axis y we find the x intercept by letting y be zero on your equation you're gonna let your y be zero where there's y you're gonna put zero why because on top of this line your y is zero so if I want a point on top of this line, I'll make y zero. I'll show you with an equation. Three, the y-intercept is the point where the graph cuts the y-axis. This is the y-axis is the output value. So it's your y-axis. So when the graph cuts anywhere in the y-axis, that's the y-intercept. And how do we find that? We let x zero be zero. On top of this line, x is zero. Okay. Straight lines, linear functions, have the formula y is equal to mx plus c. We're going to use a, a equation and show you with a formula. Always the c is the y-intercept. That number that goes alone, that's a whole number. That's a y-intercept. Let's look at an example. Let's start with the x-intercept. Our function f at x is equal to minus 2x plus 4. So this is the function of x. Or it can be written as y. So, we're going to start by letting y equals to 0. We're going to find the x-intercept. So, this is the same as y. So, that where there's y, we're going to write 0. So, we're going to have 0 is equal to minus 2x plus 4. Take this to the other side. Minus 4 is equal to minus 2x. Divide by minus 2. Divide by minus 2 x is equal to 2 so you remember that our our y is 0 so when you write it as a coordinate the first coordinate is x our x is 2 and our y is 0 okay let's find the y intercept okay for our y intercept we're gonna let x equals to 0 y is equals to minus 2 0 plus 4 y is equal to 4 so when x is 0 our coordinate y is 4 but you remember when we were looking at the equation i told you that this is the y intercept you don't necessarily have to calculate it i was calculating it to show you but you can always take this number that goes alone without the x that's our y intercept you, you, the coordinate will be 0 and whatever is there for this question is 0 and 4 Let's plot in our graph. The first coordinate is 2 and 0. Do you remember that when it's 0, it's on the x-axis. So 2 and 0 is here. Then we write the coordinate 2 and 0. Our y-intercept is 0 and 4. 0 and 4. Then you write it 0 and 4. Then you take your ruler. You join the two intercepts. That's why it's called dual intercept method. It's two intercept method. When you draw, you make sure that you cut the y-axis and cut the x-axis. Don't draw a graph that ends in the middle like that. Then you put arrows to show that it continues. Then you write the function on top of it. f at x is equal to minus 2x plus 4. So this is your function. This is how you do the dual intercept method. Uh, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.